Okay, this is a very quick tip for people who are looking to buy investment property. The first measure that most investors look at is gross yield. How much does that rental income earn compared to the value of the property? Typically around New Zealand, 3 to 6% is kind of where the majority of houses fall. So what's a really quick way to figure out how much a property earns? Well, it turns out if you're purchasing, say, a $500,000 house, you knock off those last few zeros, so you've got $500. If that is your rental per week, that is a 5% return. If you're buying a $600,000 house and you're getting $600 a week, that's a 5% return. So knock off those last few zeros and you will know what a 5% return on that property is. And that's a really quick way to figure out, is this property in the ballpark for what I want? Now there are a lot of other small things you'll need to look at. What's the net yield of the property? How many expenses are going out? Is there body corporate included? What are the rates like for this? If it's an apartment, does it have a lift in it, which means the body corporate will be more expensive? All those things, but this is the first test, just to filter that huge list that you've got of potential investment properties. What is returning a reasonable gross yield? Now the reason this works is because we tend to use 50 weeks in the year. We expect there to be a couple of weeks vacant, but a $500 per week property times 50 is 25,000, which is 5% of a $500,000 house. Now there's a lot of numbers in that, but trust me, $500 per week in rent is a 5% return on a $500,000 house. I hope that helped filter down your investment property list. If you're looking for a cash flow, you'll want to go higher than just knocking off three zeros. If you're looking for more of a capital growth area, you'll tend to find those rentals are less than 5%. But it's worth shopping around in case you can find that magical house that has both. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, get in touch with us at The Mortgage Lab, mortgagelab.co.nz. Cheers.